Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome to the next part of our modding tutorial for 1.15.2. In this episode, we're going to be talking about crafting recipes and smelting recipes. And there's two different types of crafting recipes and just one smelting recipe. So it should be pretty simple. It's a lot of um, JSON uh, coding like last time with the, uh, the loot table, so be aware of that. But uh, we can just jump right into it. So in the last few episodes, we made our ruby item and our ruby block here, right? So we want to make some crafting recipes and smelting recipes for these. So we can go to our resources folder over here, open that up and go to your data folder or data. And you'll see your folder here with your mod ID. Now inside of here right now, we have the loot tables folder and it has all our loot tables in it. We want to go back to our mod ID folder here, right click new and create a new directory. And we're going to name this recipes and make sure you spell recipes correct. Otherwise this won't work. Um, I've had that problem before and you can right click new and we want to create a file, a new file. Now this file is going to be named uh, the name of the block or item that you want to receive from your crafting recipe. So in my case, I want to make uh, a crafting recipe for Ruby block here. So I'm going to name this Ruby underscore block dot JSON and hit enter and uh, you can add it to the repository if you have one. Um, so now we just have an empty JSON file. Now in the description, there will be three links. You can go to the first one and that will take you to a uh, paste bin that has the shaped crafting recipe, just you know, so it's easy for you to copy and paste. Uh, you can copy all of this code, copy, go back to IntelliJ, right click, paste, and let's go through this. So this is a shaped crafting recipe. And what that means is that there's a specific set shape that you have to follow in your crafting recipe or crafting table. Otherwise, um, you won't be able to make the item. So pretty much every recipe I can think of is shaped except for a few uh, special recipes like maybe a flint, making a flint and steel would not be a shaped recipe. Uh, but you can actually see right here, this is um, very reminiscent of a crafting table and that's because these are actually the nine slots in a crafting table right here. So, and just like on a crafting table, this is the top row, this is the middle row, and this is the bottom row. Now you're gonna fill this up with um, letters or numbers that correspond with certain items. So right now we just have one in there, which is an X. And you can actually see that our key down here um, leads to an item and we haven't actually set that item, but that's pretty much all you're really gonna be doing is adding these keys here and then putting them in the crafting table. All right, so I guess first thing I should do is just sort of show you that um, you can take all these out if you'd like. Let's just start from scratch here. So. Uh, for my ruby block, I want to make it so that uh, you need to put uh, rubies all around the edges of the crafting table and then a diamond in the middle to make the block. Just, you know, for, for whatever reason, just for fun. So let's put um, XXX here. I guess you should put lowercase. Um, we want X's all around, um, but in the middle of the crafting table, I'm going to leave a space there. We want a different key because um, right now X points to this key. And this key is gonna hold our ruby, uh, which we'll set in a, in a bit. It's not set yet, um, but we wanna have another key that sets to something else. So um, diamond, let's just put D for diamond. So um, now we actually need to set these keys. So X, we want it to point to our ruby. So uh, you can just fill in the blanks here. Ru uh, mod ID is um, tutorial for me, and the item is just gonna be ruby. Um, and this should work fine, except we need to actually set the diamond. So we can copy this key right here, copy, just add a, uh, a, um, a comma there, paste it in. And we're going to make this key D now because it points to D and, uh, instead of tutorial Ruby, this is going to be a vanilla item. So it's going to be Minecraft, um, diamond. So one more time, just to run through this, um, what this is saying is that we have a crafting table recipe here that takes in three rubies on the top, three rubies on the bottom, a ruby on either side of the middle and a diamond in the middle. Um, the way we know that this is the case is because the X value here is a key and that points to a ruby. And we know that the D here is a diamond because we set D as a key. Uh, that's kind of rhyme, it rhymes. Uh, D is a key for a diamond. So uh, you can add as many keys as you'd like or as many as it'll allow you to, to add, I guess. Uh, I guess the maximum you can set is nine because there are nine slots. Um, and now we need to set the result. So the result here is what we get out of the crafting recipe. And of course, this is gonna be tutorial ruby underscore block. 
Um, and then of course the count here is gonna change how much you get of it. So if I were to set this to nine, I would get nine ruby blocks out of this crafting recipe for using it one time. Uh, but I, I just want it to be one for now. Uh, so now this actually, this recipe is done and we can actually see it in the game. All right, so we're inside of the game now and if we go to our creative menu and we just get some rubies just to test this out. And we also need some diamonds as well. And let's go over to my crafting table here. And if we put a diamond in the middle and rubies all around the outside, just like we set, there we go, we actually got a block of ruby. And you can do this as many times as you want because it is um, a crafting recipe, just like, you know, a regular one in vanilla. Um, and these blocks are fully functional and they should have the same properties that we set in previous videos. All right, so we're back in IntelliJ and we can actually close out of this folder or file because um, we're done with it. And now we're gonna make a new recipe type called a shapeless recipe for our Ruby object here. So go into your recipes folder, right click, new, file, and we're gonna name this again, the result of the crafting recipe, which is gonna be ruby.json. And inside of here, uh, we're gonna add our, our code. So go into the second link in the description and there will be a shapeless crafting recipe paste bin. You can copy this, right click, copy, and just paste it in. Uh, so now a shapeless recipe is pretty much the exact opposite of a shape, uh, a shaped recipe, which is essentially uh, there's no set structure to the recipe. As long as the items or the ingredients are in there, then that's all that matters and you'll get your, uh, your results. So uh, an example of this is how, you know, you can put a, an oak log into your crafting recipe in any of the slots and every single time you'll still get the, uh, the planks. Same with, um, I believe, flint and steel. You can put a piece of flint and a, uh, an iron ingot in there anywhere you want um, and it should uh, make the flint and steel. So similar idea, uh, we're gonna actually do something just kind of fun. Uh, I thought it'd be funny to make uh, the crafting recipe for a ruby, a emerald and a, uh, a piece of red dye. Um, like kind of like you're dyeing the emerald red. So let's make, um, well, these are gonna be our ingredients here within this um, this little square bracket here. So the first ingredient I want is gonna be a, a vanilla ingredient. So it's gonna be Minecraft for the mod ID and the item is gonna be emerald. And I'm gonna add a second ingredient and you can just do that by literally just copying this part right here. Copy, add a, a comma, and then just pasting. And you can do this as many times as you want. Um, I guess nine is the limit again, just like before. Um, and this item is gonna be uh, also a, a vanilla item. So Minecraft for the mod ID, and it's gonna be red underscore die for the object or the item. Now the result is gonna be uh, our Ruby object. So the mod ID is gonna be our custom mod ID, which is tutorial, and the item is gonna be Ruby. And again, just like last time, we have a count here for how many uh, your item you get from the crafting recipe. And just to test this out, let's make this three. So we should get three rubies from this crafting recipe. And now we can uh, actually save, save all, and we can run the game. Okay, so we're in the game and let's just like last time get our items. So we want an emerald and we want a piece of red dye. Uh, there we go, red dye. And now if we go to our crafting table here and we put one emerald in and one piece of red dye, you can see that we did get the three uh, rubies here. And because it's a shapeless recipe and there's no actual shape, you can see that we can actually put these anywhere we would like um, in the crafting table and we will get the result every single time. Just like um, those recipes, those example recipes I told you about earlier. And because it's only two items, we actually, if we test this out here, can do this in our survival inventory. Uh, let me just go to game mode survival. And there we go. And there we go. You can see we did get our, our rubies here. And we get three of them because that's what we set in the uh, the config. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna talk about in this episode is a smelting recipe. And we can uh, make a little fun smelting recipe for our ruby here. Just a little secret way for people to get a ruby if they don't have red dye by smelting a emerald in a, a furnace. So what you wanna do is come over to recipes again, right click, new, file and again just like last time we want the name to be uh, the result of this recipe but because i already have a json called ruby.json uh, we're just going to name it something a little bit different again these names are not super important but they're just for you to sort of know uh, what you're looking for so uh, ruby underscore i guess smelt is fine dot json there we go and um Inside of here, we're gonna paste some code. So go into the last link in the description. Should take you to a smelting recipe paste bin. 
we can copy this raw data and paste it in. Now, this is way more simple than a, a crafting recipe. As you can see, there's not really anything to edit except for these basic um, values here. So the ingredient, there can only be one ingredient because it is a smelting recipe for a furnace. So this is gonna be Minecraft Emerald because we are smelting an emerald. And just like last time, the result, this is what you get out of the recipe. So it's gonna be tutorial and Ruby. And I believe you can set a count here as well, although uh, I have not tried that, but you're welcome to do that if you'd like to add multiple rewards uh, of the same type, of course. And for experience, now whenever you smell anything in a furnace, uh, you have the possibility of getting um, experience points, XP. So you can set that here. In my case, I'll just give the player one XP if they um, smelt uh, an emerald. And then the cooking time here is how long it's gonna take to actually cook in the furnace. Now this is in ticks and in Minecraft, uh, one tick is 20 seconds, I believe, uh, or sorry, other way around, 20 ticks is one second. So if we take a calculator here and we do 200 divided by 20, you can see that this is about 10 seconds of cook time. So which, whatever you want your cook time to be, basically take the amount of seconds you want it to be. Uh, in my case, I want my, uh, my smelting recipe to go in five seconds. So five seconds and then just multiply it by 20. And you have 100 here, so we can make this cook time 100. So just multiply it however many seconds you want by 20. And uh, we can file, save all, and this is good to go. We can actually launch the game now. Okay, so now let's get our emerald from the creative inventory, emeralds, and uh, let's get some fuel as well, uh, coal. And let's actually get a couple emeralds. There we go, full stack. And if we put the fuel in the furnace and we put the emeralds in, we can see that it is working, it is smelting, and it should take, there we go, five seconds. Um, and we got the ruby, so perfect. Our smelting recipe is working great and it's working multiple times as well. All right, so that's gonna pretty much do it for smelting and crafting recipes. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned a lot, and I will see you guys in the next episode.